Hey there, my name is Shane Craddock and this is the Inner Edge podcast where I share a different take on how to lead and live a sustainable high performance life. Over the course of different episodes, I'm going to challenge the belief that tension, stress and struggle are essential to success and creativity. My experience is that there's an easier way, there's a better way and indeed there's an essential way that we need to explore for the times that we live in. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and explore. Hi there. Welcome to uh, today's episode. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're you're well. Uh, certainly where I am right now, it's Ireland is enjoying a, an extreme heat wave, which in the middle of August 2022 is very welcome. Uh, today's episode is about the rough. Now, it's been inspired, I guess, by a memory that I had around golf, maybe this time of the year. I know a lot of people around me are playing a lot of golf, so maybe that's why it's come through from my unconscious mind. Um, I used to play a good bit of golf when I was younger, um, and then kind of stopped because it's a golf is one of those interesting sports, it's very mental, it does require a lot of time and practice to get any way good at it, I think. Um, although you can still enjoy it at, at, um, at any level. But the, the comment that I'm going to give, which is in the title, is the rough is only mental. Now, I can't remember exactly who told me this statement, but I remember when I was playing um, as a teenager, maybe early 20s, somebody on a round with me said, I, I think I, was, I must have been saying stuff to do with being in the rough, and they said, well, the rough is only mental. Now, you might go, well, what the hell does that mean? And the reality is when you're in the rough in golf, it, what it means is that you're generally rough for grass. Uh, the lie isn't going to be as smooth or clean. In some cases, the ball may even be hidden by the grass or by uh, the growth that's that's in the rough. Um, so generally, it's seen as being more difficult uh, and a more challenging shot than if it, if this is perfectly clear. But what the person was saying to me, and they were they were right, was that if you go in thinking that and expect it to be rough, you're bringing um, a mindset into that situation that isn't going to help the challenge that you're in. And uh, what the person actually said to me at the time was. Uh, you know, in a way, pretend you're not in the rough, pretend that you're on the fairway, pretend where you just have clear sight of the ball. That's a better mindset to bring in. Now, let's explore that a little bit. That's what we're going to do today. So because I think in all aspects of what you do, the rough is only mental. So not just golf, but sport in general, business, life, relationships, health, living. Now, if you start thinking something is is rough, if it's tough, in a golfing context, you are going to bring the enemy of performance into your body, into your system, which is tension. So tension is the enemy of certainly of high performance for a golfer because any sort of tension in the body will block what they can naturally do through practice and skill and application. Same thing though applies actually I find in business is that if you bring tension into your system, it does compromise your ability to get the best out of yourself. It does affect your ability to think more clearly, to improvise on the spot, and to um, bring the best out of yourself. Now, maybe to help get a grasp of, of what I'm looking at here, I would say there's kind of generally, in this context, three types of people. The first one, they're always in the rough no matter what's going on. They generally have a gloomy outlook on everything they do. Everything's a problem. Everything's heavy. They're always in the rough. So even if they're on the fairway, they're in the rough. Um, if you're not a golfer, if this is still relevant, don't don't switch off. If I'm using these terms, the fairways they are the really nice part of the of the golf uh, the golf hole. Now the second type of person is you're sometimes in the rough, and when you're in the rough, you get affected by it. As in, you react to it. You don't like it when you're in the rough. You know, you prefer, you're, you're, you're good and great when you're on the fairway. Everything's going the way you want. But when things go the way you don't want, yeah, you get affected by it. That's probably most people. Um, and then the third type of person is somebody who just loves the rough. They love the rough. They love the fairway. They pretty much love everything. So no matter what they're doing, what way, what life throws up with them, they kind of go, that's great. I can handle it. It's a bit of fun. It's going to test me. It's going to challenge me. Let's get into it. And in many ways, sometimes they kind of say, I kind of prefer it when it is rough because it helps me test myself. So they're bringing that kind of attitude in. And that's not just for golf. It's not just for sport. It's not just for business. It's just you in general. Who you are um, 
in terms of the one of those three is how you're going to be mirrored in everything you do. Now, I'm not saying on any level, just for clarity, that you don't deal with reality. That would be stupid. That would be silly. Uh, you have to adapt. You have to adapt to the circumstances. But again, it's the mindset you're bringing into that situation is pretty much going to determine the output, the outcome. Like your mindset is key to every activity and situation that you that you deal with, that you go into. Now, I just give you a different angle altogether on this. I write a lot. Uh, it's, I really enjoy writing. I write for business. I write creatively. Um, if you're on my weekly email list, and if you're not, you should be on it. If you're missing out, go to shanecroddick.com and you can opt in there for some freebies. But every Monday I send out a, a short email to be read in less than 60 seconds. So I, I, I've done that every Monday pretty much for the last 14, 15 years. I write articles. I write content for programs. Um, I'm in the middle of writing a new book at the moment. I have written a book previously called Inspire Me. Um, some days, um, as you would guess, my inner voice is going, oh, this is tough, i.e., Shane, we're in the rough. We don't like it. Now, if I buy into that, which I used to do years ago, well, then my performance is compromised. Either I'd probably just say, I'm not going to do it today, and that's not a good idea. That's the start of going backwards. Or I might be there, but just nothing really is coming out. My shots, my words are just not hitting it. And sometimes that can happen. But what I can't do is buy into the, this is tough, so let's everybody get tense about it. Let's get down about it. And I think that brings me to a key point to consider for if you're interested in improving your performance in anything is like what you think, what you think affects everything or maybe more specifically what you choose to think. And I think this is the funny thing about thought is that in many cases, thought can have no effect on our performance. But then in other situations, it has, it's everything to do with the outcome of our, of our performance. And the common denominator is, is what I choose to think, what I choose to give my attention to. If I buy into the thinking and now I believe it, well, then that's, that's automatically going to affect my mindset, my behavior, how I feel, and then ultimately um, my shot, whether that's writing or speaking or leading um, or golf or tennis or whatever your, whatever your choice of activity is. So for you, where in your world are you in the rough? Where around you are you having trouble? Are you struggling? Are things not going the way you want? Could be work, could be your health, could be relationships is a common area I find, business and personal, um, because people will not always do things the way your mind wants them to do. That's not always a bad thing either. So I would suggest, have a think about that, identify one area, and then look at your inner script around your commentary. Now, your inner script generally will kind of go, yeah, yeah, you know, but the, the reason that I am thinking that is because it is rough, you know. And, and I'm talking about extreme situations, even say something, what could be the most extreme, maybe somebody getting cancer. That's tough. That is the rough. But even there in the most extreme situation, I've seen people handle it very differently. They can kind of go through that and take it on and say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this to learn, to get better. I'm going to look for the opportunities. It doesn't take away from the reality of something that could be very, very uh, sad or difficult. Um, so look at your inner script because are you saying to yourself, this is the rough, this is tough? Or are you saying to this, this is the rough, let's have some fun? And maybe experiment with the difficult area and just see what happens. Just see what happens. Something happens, maybe send me a note at support at shanecraddock.com. I'll leave my email again in the show notes. And I'll close out with, I suppose, a short story. I remember years ago when I was living in Dublin, the capital of Ireland, and it was the middle of winter. It was very dark night, and it was very windy. I was out there by a place called Sandy Mount, which is a beautiful beach. And I was there's a nice, well, at the time, there's a nice walkway that was well lit, common area for people to go walking on and running on and as I got to the end of the walkway I could see down kind of on the the beach area there was a a man I think maybe in his 60s had gray hair but he had this big large golden retriever and he was he was uh, chucking the ball in and out of the water now the waves were quite big 
So, I mean, a human would have been thinking twice about going into it, and the dog was jumping in, clearly loving it, and then bringing the ball out to the to his owner, saying, please throw the ball back in. You're thinking, really? That's quite dangerous. <laughs> I know TLJ, the lovely Judy, my wife, who's a big dog lover, wouldn't be letting her dog go into the into the sea for fear of uh, something going wrong. Anyway, this dog wasn't thinking like that. You could see that they just loved it. Uh, the waves were massive. They were getting thrown around the place. It was massive exercise. Anyway, I went down to the guy and I, and I was just was marveling at the dog and said, wow, that's amazing to watch. They seem to really love it. And he said, he said, no, it's funny is the rougher it is, the more he seems to enjoy it. And that always really struck me. I was thinking, as I walked away, I thought, wow, that guy doesn't realize what he's just given me. Um, because that is an amazing uh, message or affirmation to think about for yourself. Certainly for me at the time it was, and it still is, is that because it's not easy to do, let's be honest, that when things get rough and tough and life comes at you and life and business without doubt is a full contact sport. You are going to get hit. You are going to get hurt. And so certainly all I can say is from my point of view and working with clients at all different levels over many different years, um, you're always going to have find yourself in the rough. But the question is, is what mindset are you bringing into it? And I think what I close out with is that the rough is tough only because you think it is. Ciao for now.